right, girl. Hamish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well... Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of you. You got that lore I gave you? Get her out. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. Tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on now, Tyrant, I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, ah went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. Oh, it's a drop back. Uh, hey, this. Amish! Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bought me.
You lost anything? Just my rod. We'd got my toes, too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pot? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. You can speed that up a little. Come on! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Reel it in. Don't let him pull you. We're gonna get this son of a bitch. This might be the one casting. Just a bit faster now. Doing good. Try pulling that rod up as you reel.
me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting, you stop by again. On me. Don't take long. Yep. 
<coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding army to all this. These bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, 
government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Oh! No, not again. I gotta sniff up a good head all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Just deal, boy. I'm in. Crazy. You're taking us for a ride here. I'd say I'm sorry, fellas, but I'd be lying. <laughs> Don't know what can I tell my wife. Sorry, darling. No food this month. That cheating bastard Pennington robbed it all. Send her over to me. I got lots of money. <laughs> now that's just plain rude. <laughs> What the hell? 
Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur.
Yep. There he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> <laughs> We should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Easy. Okay. Let's hold up here. So, the wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. 
So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show.
behind us. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me.
Okay. <laughs> 